Um, should we continue where we are or? No, uh, please keep that for me. You see, um, I know we are all searching for truth. And truth, if you look around the world, if you look around the world, uh, there are so many religions. We have the Hindus, we have the Muslims, we have the Buddhists, we have the Christianities, we have the Shintus, we have all those things. And uh, when we look at that, uh, we as a believers, we don't have the problem with Hindus or Buddhists. And um, when you look at the, the Muslims, the Muslims are the one of the group people that we love. Because the Muslims always talk about the Bible. You understand? A lot of Muslims said, oh, they believe Jesus more than the Christians. We've heard them say that. So our argument is, if the Muslims go around and tell people that Jesus is only a man, a man, or Jesus is only a prophet, we are telling them, no, that is not the full accurate. Why do we come to that conclusion? Because when we look through the scriptures, the, the scriptures is the one that provides us that clear evidence. When I read the Quran, I spend time to read the Quran because I think the reason why I do read the Quran because I believe that um, if one point something billion people are following a particular religion in the book, that means something must be in that book and it's in my position i read it to seek the needed knowledge because most of my muslim friends that i've grown to know i really love them i love them so much but there's something that doesn't add up when we, i talk to muslim they say the bible is corrupt the bible is changed you ask them when was it corrupt when you ask them when was it corrupt they can't tell you when was it changed they can't tell you all they say is claim, 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 claim. And for me, I've got quite a big issue about it. So if we look at the Bible, I want us to talk about the deity of Christ. Do you know that when we say about deity, what is your understanding about that? Nothing. Deity? No, nothing, yeah. You don't understand it? Yeah, I what? was just about to tell him the brother was over there. Uh, yeah. Um, my my information about the uh, my information about the yeah, yeah so i was was just on the point of uh, uh, just the basic understanding of the religion thanks to him he explained to me even uh, how the things started from the from the beginning okay so should we carry on on that spot oh, no. or should we go no i think what, what, what we are dealing with is something that will benefit all of us okay because uh, i know you are muslim you are a very good man mm -hmm. but you are looking for truth yeah you see it, one of the things we have all been promised we have been promised gender mm. you see we are all been promised gender but there has to be a clear roadmap to gender mm. you understand mm. If we don't know the roadmap to Jenna and we are only assuming that God has not been fair with us and there's no point we waste our time but because we have been promised Jenna, God has given us the roadmap to Jenna. Like Hive. I think what he's saying is, um, if I'm not mistaken, you wanted to take a step like back a because you're saying you you're asking me what's the difference between the different religions, you know? Yeah, who was in that point? Yeah. yeah. And then we were just saying, okay, what's the difference between the the Jews, the Christians, and the, the Muslims, you know? And they're just trying to define it, you know, like that to see exactly what the people believe in, you know? So uh, if you. Um, are yeah. you fine with that? You, you yeah, with just that? to add with that one, basically, I come I grow up I mean, because one of the yeah. things that I hear Muslims say is Adam is a Muslim, uh, Moses is a Muslim, all the prophets are Muslim. Jesus is also Muslim. Jesus is Muslim. But when you read the Quran, you realize that that report is inaccurate. Because Quran, Surah chapter 6, verse 14. How please, can Jesus be a Muslim? Please read, read, read. Jesus read. Say he has his father. Yeah. 
When, when you read the uh, Quran, Surah chapter 6, Ayah 14, let's listen to the words of the Quran. You know, it, see, for, me, for my position, when we, talk, when, when we talk about God, I think it's very important to me that we go in the books rather than we make our own assumption. assumption. Because the book is what provides us the needed knowledge, the legs to stand on. We can make up our own assumptions all day long. But let's see what the book is saying. The one point I cannot get from the Muslims, when they call Jesus is a Muslim, yeah, but when Jesus himself said, God is my father. What's so your good can, name, brother? So how can Jesus be a Muslim? Yeah, what's your good name? My name? Yeah. Frank. Frank, Frank, I will be really, really honest with you. Mm. I come, I grew up in Dubai, okay? Basically, quite open society. Mm -hmm. uh, modern religion, you can name it. Okay, so my knowledge in any religion you ask me is a zero. Is a zero. Okay, That's why I was including Islam. Including Islam. I was basically even have to ask him how was the basic difference between them. I think that's the more re more reason why this discussion and this, this and this is my second day over here just listening but, but gathering the information is, but the thing is you have and, to think when most all muslims say jesus is a muslim mm -hmm. when jesus call himself god his father how can jesus be a muslim because when you look at the Ara the quran the the quran clearly says we are not putting things in the quran the no, quran, I haven't, I haven't quran, the quran himself is saying that Allah is not a father to no one. Yes. In fact, in the Islamic literature, one of the sins one can commit that Allah will never forget, forgive that person is to associate partners with Allah. And I think in the Islamic term it's called shrink or something like that. Shirk. Shirk, yeah. Yeah. So when you associate partners with Allah, that means that person can never be forgiven. So if from the scripture position, we are not confused. We are we are very fully aware of what the Bible tells us, what we need to know. Did the Bible tell us that Jesus uh, is, uh, uh, for example, the Islam, they believe Jesus is a prophet. Does the Bible tell us that, that Jesus was a God? Okay, let's listen to one by one so I can understand. A, please read the, uh, the Quran, Surah chapter 6, Ayah 14. Surah chapter 6 verse 14 saying is it other than Allah I should take as a protector creator of heavens and earth while it is those uh, who, uh, sorry while it is he who feeds and is not fed say O Muhammad indeed I have been commanded to be the first among you who submit to Allah and I was commanded do not ever be of the polytheist did you get it yeah, so the Quran, to, Surah read, chapter have... 6, Ayah 14, Allah said to Muhammad, you have been commanded to be the first. The first. first. The so first. when went, and Muslim. Islam, Muslim. As, as we know, Islam started in 7th century. Yeah, after but, Christianity, yeah. Yeah, so. So Jesus can't be a Muslim. Jesus can never Muhammad be a Muslim. was the first Muslim. Yeah. So, will... so those claims. Mm. Those claims are inaccurate. So, serious so claims, your yeah. own surah is contradicting. Mm. In, in I will ask, in I have Bible, a few your, of Quran. my family, they are quite good in a religion. I will ask them, let me take a picture from this one. Hmm? Brother, please don't bother. My knowledge is no, very weak. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. That's, my, that's absolutely fine. I'm not a type of person who... You are the kind yeah, of person we would like, like to uh, talk to. Because exactly. Uh, I don't know. To be honest with you, I grew up in, in Dubai. So... The society over there uh, just do your job and go back home. That's it. We don't bother ourselves. Can you see? Is it uh, no, a little see. bit of light? Yeah. Okay. So you see, this is Quran speaking. Yeah, when you read the Quran, please, one of the things that I'm very much concerned, you see, this clearly tells, this is the words of Allah. Yes. And uh, uh, he says, you have been commanded to be the first what? First Muslim. First Muslim. Yeah. So when Muslims say Jesus is a Muslim, 
they are putting words in the mouth of Jesus. But Jesus himself has never made that statement. Okay, Look at I, the let, Quran. Let's read the Quran. Can I, can I answer that question about the, you saying that did Jesus say what was the question? He's, he's, he's God, like he's, he's, he's divine. Yeah, that's the divine. good thing, brother. If, if I go home back today to my house, so I can get go home with, with a good knowledge. We are giving you references. What's yeah. your name, brother? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. From yeah, Somali? From Somali, yeah. Uh, I just want to address that one because uh, I think that's quite a simple one. We look at Surah 57 verse 3. 57 verse 3. Now we're talking about... Um, let me just try to find it. 57 verse 3. Yeah. Now this is talking about God, right? This is Allah. Mm. He's saying this is one of His... This, even if you read it from the that's beginning... That's one of the 99 says, Whatever is in heaven and earth exalts Allah and He is exalted, mighty and wise. It's in his dominion of the heavens and earth, he gives life and causes death, and he's over. so it's obviously talking about God. He is the first and the last. Now this is is really a, a name, the first and the last. He you ascended mm. and the intimate, and he is of all things knowing. So we read it there. He is the first and the last. He's talking about the God. He's talking God, about Allah. That's the okay. name of God. Mm. Yeah. So when he said first and the last. What, what what what's your personal understanding? Your, yeah, personal understanding. When they say something first, Allah said, "I am the first. I'm the first, yeah. And I'm the last. Yeah. yeah. So what, what is? Well, how do you understand that? Well, brother, don't uh, don't mind if I say something wrong. But no, 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 I understand no, no, he's the first yes. and the last. Yeah. yeah. I mean the beginning to end. Yes. Yeah, you can say like that. So yeah. that 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 statement is a divinity divine divine title. What do you understand yeah. by that word? What do you understand about that? It's beginning to the end. Yeah. Well, what's the surah? Surah 57 verse 3. 57, yeah. 57, 57 verse, verse 3. The word says, He's Allah, the first and the, Allah first the, and the last. Allah. Got busy and distracted. Yeah. So you can join in. Uh, this is your brother Muslim. Oh, I think you will really we are dealing with uh, the very so important the subject called the the deity of. Uh, yeah. We're going to look at the Old Testament. So we just want Isaiah to provide a clear. Isaiah 44 verse 6. All right. Please come, come closer. Isaiah 44. I think uh, this one six. is a very much knowledgeable Muslim that. Yeah. Uh, we, so we, we just want the scriptures uh, so to read talk, it. Uh, speak Isaiah for itself. Isaiah 44 verse 6. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and the last. This is the God of Israel. The Is Israelites are believing this is uh, God, who is I am the first and the last. Beside me there is no God. Right? So even the Jews are saying first and the last, the, the Muslims are saying first and the last is the same name. And there's just one more text we're going to look at. It's going to Revelation okay. 1. God, so when you hear, please come here. When he said, Allah he said, Allah said in the reference of Surah chapter 57, verse 3, I am the first and the last. What's your take on that? Um, he's eternal, like he has no beginning, no ending. Okay, so did you catch it? Did you catch what yeah, your brother yeah, said? Yeah, yeah. The first and the last means he has what? Beginning without, and end. Without beginning, without end. Right, so if we look at the... Eternal. So if we look at the, uh, the scriptures according to Revelation chapter 1 verse 17 and 18. What about Revelation 1 1? No, let, let's, so let, let, revelation let, 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 let's finish. Let, God gave to Jesus. See my so position, when distinction. I talk to Muslims, yeah, anyway. which part of the Bible do you believe? Because there's always a selective. Which part do you believe? Because so I want to work with I want to work believe. with the part you believe in. The gospel of Jesus. The gospel of Jesus. What we believe in, yeah. Can can you show me what the gospel of Jesus is? Where is it? So it's what God gave to Jesus. The revelation God gave that to God Jesus. Gave. Where is it? Of what Jesus preached during his lifetime. So so that's the red letter. What actually what he said. Yeah. yeah. And that's oh, no, I think I think you are. Bible we have, no, let's not change the topic. When no he said Bible. uh Bible. John how many, for example, uh, how many uh, actually have problem with the... Uh, John, I think, uh, when, <laughs> I think, uh, stand here, stand here. When he said, I think it's a very important question asked. When he said, no, stand here. When he said uh, the gospel of giving to Jesus, what do you mean by that? That's a revelation, the word of God. So Are you saying when Jesus was 
preaching, he was holding a book. No, it's the, it's the word of God that came to Jesus. Okay, and it's his, so it's his words the, that he preached, yeah. and that's captured by those disciples that were around him. Like, yeah, yeah. They, they wrote and they said, this is what Jesus said. He, he spoke the Beatitudes, he spoke this and that. And uh, we believe that's in the Gospels now. Like, what, what we have there, that's in the Gospels. But do, do you know that Jesus, do you know that Jesus, Himself, He is the Word of God. Can can again? Not in Revelation. Jesus is the Word of Revelation, God. Jesus is the Word of God that visited. So is the Bible the Word of God? It's absolutely yes. So is the Bible Jesus? Now, when it's you say the Bible no, speaks about Jesus. That, yeah, I agree. Yeah. But it's the Bible not, is but Jesus written isn't by the Word of God. Inspired by because you know in Revelation Spirit. chapter one verse nine makes a distinction between the word of God and Jesus. Okay, I think that yeah. I, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to make sure we are not everywhere. Uh, okay. say you, discussing the deity the, of the, Jesus. The, the, the question my good friend said was in a reference of Quran, uh, Surah yeah, chapter 57, ver, Surah chapter 57 verse 3, we read from the Quran which tell us that Allah is the first and the last. Yeah. And I ask you, what's your take on that? Because Allah is the first, and that means is a, di a divine. Di what did he say? It's a divine what? Without beginning, without end. Without beginning. Yeah. So I want to, I want us to examine the first and the last in the picture on the content of Jesus. Because before the first and the last came into the Quran, it was already in the biblical text. Because, yeah, in Isaiah, do you agree? Example, in the book of Isaiah. Do you agree be that before the, fir the term first and the last yeah. came into play, it, before Quran came, it's already in the Bible. Yeah. Do you agree? It's in Isaiah, yeah. Uh, Not Isaiah only Isaiah, many places, Quran, yeah. many places in the scripture. Yeah. Do you agree? Yes. I want to work with your agreement. Do you agree? Yeah. Right, so if we look at, for instance, Isaiah chapter number 48, verse 12. Yeah. Because there's no God besides me. So you look at Isaiah 50, 48, verse number 12. Yeah. The, uh, please, let's come. So I want the, cam uh, the light to help us. You realize Isaiah 48, 12. It, it clearly says, Listen to me, O Jacob. Yeah. Who is speaking here? God. God is speaking. Do we agree God is speaking? Yes. He said, listen to me, O Jacob, and Israel, my call. I am he. I am he, and I am the first and the last. Mm -hmm. So do we agree that title belongs to God? There's, there's two yeah. titles there. I am he, and then the first and the last. And remember that I am he. Jesus was saying to that to the Pharisees, saying, if you don't believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. He's the Messiah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't use, you know, he didn't use, uh, well, uh, we can, because we want to make sure that we are all in agreement. Say, why did John write his gospel, wrote his gospel, so that you may believe Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God? No, That's I'm, the reason why John wrote. Yeah. You know, the purpose of why he wrote his gospel. Okay. John, 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 John was giving his accounts yeah. to the the risen king king jesus jesus is a king he's a lord oh, jesus is a man of yeah. many so when we read the uh, isaiah 48 verse 12 we can clearly see from the scripture he said listen to me O jacob and israel my call i am he listen to this i am he i am the first and the last so the god of israel reminded the prophet Isaiah that I am he, God was speaking. Then he went one step further and said, not only I am he, but I am also the first and the what? And we agree from the Quran perspective that the term I am, I am first and the last, from your own understanding that Jesus, uh, Allah is an eternal person. But then let's look at the, the scripture in uh, connection with what Jesus himself spoke about himself. 
Because I think he, he knows a lot of the Bible, by the way. <laughs> but he did. He might know the reference. He quotes it. He quotes it. Yeah. I mean, when we read uh, uh, the, uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse 12 to verse 12 to 16, I know because he, can you read it? Please re read it. Anybody have touch uh, light so you can see clear? Put a light on his. Uh, you have your light. Uh, give him. Revelation um, chapter 22. I'm coming quickly, and um, my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his works. Um, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Who is talking here? Uh, Jesus. So, who is talking? Uh, Jesus. So, when you examine this text in the eyes of Surah 57, verse 3, who, who is Jesus claimed to be? So, this is a different context from Surah. From the Surah. So the Surah 57 today is the the time first and the last yeah. referring to who so this is about the final heavens and earth sorry so you, so you know the heavens and the earth yes they will be destroyed no, let, let, be let, let, let's not let's not so, go there i want Revelation. i want us to let's not go so there before they destroy and other things come in let's let's examine what the scripture so is you saying. know alpha that's the first letter of the put, put the light please you're using the but, 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 no, no, we are not using it. It's, we are, you have to be fair to the text, not I Christian agree, tactics. Yeah. No, you see, when you do that, you are not being fair to the have text. Let the scripture speak. We will go there. Let's finish okay. this, please. Uh, what's the argument? He's saying that, that it's, it's so, so for in, a future time. Yes, it's, it's, in, it's within the context of the new heavens and earth. Okay. So within that context, Jesus is so saying So you mean the new fair. heavens and the new earth, then yeah. Jesus will be the, the first God, and the last. The first, so he will oh, be God. So I, I mean, not yet. <laughs> um, he'll be Lord. <laughs> But he won't be I am, I then go to the Revelation no, one, right? where Jesus said I was dead and now I'm I'll, 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 take, I'll take him there, but I want him so, to. Uh, so please, please, uh, so look, look, look I'll, I'll, no, no, let's, 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 let's finish this. believe that Jesus is Lord then? Of this new heaven and new earth. This is what Revelation that, that, that is a different context, but let, let's yeah. let the scripture speak. Please read again. Um, and uh, behold, I am coming quickly. Yes. And my reward is with me to, to give to everyone according to his work. Um, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. So, so in, in, in this test, who is, because this is context, Jesus, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 Jesus, who is speaking? Jesus. So, if Jesus claimed that he's the first and the last, Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, what, what, who, what, what is he claiming to be? It's within the context of him being the first and last of creation. So you know like when you say from A to Z, uh, A to Z from everything. So this is like first and last of creation, like ruler of creation. But so when I ask you from Adam, when I ask you yeah. from the Quran, yeah. Surah 57 verse 3, that was not the response you gave me. You told yeah, me the first and the context. last is a uh, divine heir. Uh, what did he say? Eternal. So why the, are you jumping around? Because in the book of Revelation, Jesus is the beginning of God's creation. So creation begins with Jesus. So you know in Revelation 3.14? No, no, I, I want yeah. us to finish before we go there, because there's more. We haven't finished. You have to read the whole of Okay, fin finish this to 12 to 16. Please fr finish it. Okay, blessed are those uh, who do his commandments, and they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city, but outside are the dogs, the sorcerers, the sex sexually immoral and murderers, and idolaters, and whoever loves and practices... Did you life. catch it? Did you catch the information there? Yeah. Did you catch it? Yeah, so there's those that are in the city and those that are outside. And who are outside? Um, like the right. idolaters, the murderers, yeah. the sinners, right. sinners, basically. Okay, yeah. so, okay, then verse... Uh, finish. You see how he put his endorsement on the system. What did he say? I Jesus. I Jesus. Yeah, so here, the first and the last title. Now he's put his sealed on it. I Jesus. Finish yeah, yeah, that. I agree. This is Jesus okay. speaking. Yeah. So I Jesus will do what? Um, sent my angel to testify to you um, these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. Did you understand yeah. that the roots? Yeah. Did he, did he did he understand that? I know you are reading this it, but do you understand it? To David being the son of David, like the, the stem of Jesse, 
the root of Jesse and Isaiah. He said he so was the root of David. So how can David become a king over him? The root of David. Yeah, so in Revelation, does Jesus have a father and a mother? So David is like his father. So there's no virgin birth. John, I'm saying. I'm saying. Remember, when he says in Psalm 110, my God, says to my God, sit down on the right hand side of my, my, my enemies. Remember, because the Pharisees asked him, are you the son of the father David? What did Jesus say to him? That's what you just said. Yeah, yeah. You see, well, how can I be the son yeah, if David, yeah. David called me Lord? Because David was speaking in the spirit at the time. He was speaking on the future event. So, because David died, and when you go to Israel, the tomb of David, you can go and just see where David was buried. If you go to Israel, where Jesus was buried, the tomb was empty. The glorious king in the person of Jesus Christ, the tomb is empty. It's, it's no more in the tomb, it's in heaven. I don't need the second Lord. That always refers to a human being, to a creature, it's never used for God. So you know there's two lords in Psalms 1110. There's right. Yahweh. Yeah. Yahweh says to Adoni, my Lord, sit at my right hand. So the second Lord is always used for a human being. Or for a human but you king. see what what we what our position is never used for God. our position but in in a, in a God reference of Adonai, but not Adoni. So it's uh, good okay. that you that you said there's two lords, because even in the Quran it actually says um, uh, it says that uh, in Surah 9, 131, it says that the rabbis are worshipping the monks and the priests besides Allah and the Messiah, you know? So it's like, yes. So when I read the Quran, uh, Messiah, the son of Mary. Uh, uh, John, can you please read the Surah chapter 45, verse six, uh, 16 from the Quran? Never called a son, Mary. Mary never called him son. <laughs> But you never. know, never. Yeah, did, he, did he hear what he said? I don't know. Never called a son. Did, did, did he hear what he said? You never called a son. Never. Mary, the, Mary the mother of Jesus, never That's called Jesus, see, never called Jesus his son. It's all Catholic stuff, but not Catholic. Yeah. yeah. But Jesus, it's just true. That's a good point there. Yeah, but Mary Jesus never called Jesus his son. His son. When he was on the cross, said, John, take your, take your mother with you. But, but, but he is called son of Mary in the no, Bible. No, it's a Catholic say. No, it's a Quran. It's a Quran that gives that. Mark, Mark chapter 6, verse 4. He's called the son of Mary. Mark chapter what? Mark chapter 6, I forgot the verse number exactly. I think it's Mark chapter 6, verse 4. I think it's verse 4, but maybe a different. Okay, verse. okay, I think you, right. you are, uh, this was, uh, I think, was respond given by uh, John. Can verse you give three. me the light? Sorry, please. Chapter 6, verse 3. Uh, the contents of Jesus rejected at Nazareth. Then he went out from yeah. there and yeah. Then he went out from there and came to his yeah. own country, and his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath has come, he, he began to teach in the synagogue. How are you going to explain that? Please, let's focus here. Please, Let, let's. We don't, we don't oh, want to. I'm, I'm listening to you. Uh, so yes. Carry on. And. He, he said, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many, many hearing him were astonished, saying, where did this man get this from? And what wisdom is this which is given to him, that such mighty work was performed by his hand? Is this not the carpenter? So Jesus was not speaking. It's the people who are speaking. Yes. They but said, and then, it. and they said, is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James and George and uh, Judas and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? So they were offended at him. Jesus was not the one talking. It's the yeah, people. But he didn't deny it. Yeah, they were trying to make reference to, oh, Mary it's nobody. Thing. It's only this. But then, when you read uh, further, uh, Jesus responded. Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor, except in his own, except in his own country, country yeah. among his own relative and his own. So Jesus, it was, it was the views 
it's the views of the community who knew oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Joseph as carpenter. Not Jesus himself said that. Draw the lines. Hmm? Wasn't Jesus a carpenter? Oh, his, his uh, legal father so, so was a, a carpenter, yeah. They're, yeah. they're not incorrect to say that. But you see, when we read the scripture, the we have to put... He is a carpenter. When we read it's the not, scriptures, it's a factual statement. yeah, I agree. He's uh, bi biological. He's biological son of Mary. Yeah, but he's spiritual. He's son of God. He's son of a child. Son of I mean, God. when you is spiritually a son of God. He's son of a child. Adam is a spiritually son of God. Yeah. When you read the scripture very well, yeah, uh, you read. Yeah, yeah. when you read it, spiritually, yeah, because anyone who believes in Christ, who give, who give their life to Christ, according to scripture, you become part of the kingdom of God, and you become the DNA of Jesus becomes your DNA. Spiritually, so how do you as, as say this? When Jesus was talking to the Pharisees, in the reference of John Gospel chapter eight, verse number twenty-three, can you give me the light, please? He says, "You say you were before Abraham. You say you lived before Abraham's time." Jesus said that he's being used. He's being used. It's like your shoe when you're using it; it doesn't remain. He could be an angel before he comes down to earth. He could have been an angel. According to the Jehovah's Witnesses. Though. Well, he, he was... Pre-existence doesn't He was spiritual mean. because yeah. he wasn't made flesh yet. I so, mean, I, I don't yeah. believe this. Because another way to interpret, translate before Abraham could also be before Abraham shall be. So oh, why, yeah. do, why do you guys fight any scripture that clearly points Jesus' divinity? It's not a makeup, it's a clear scripture. It's a major claim, so it's huh? a high flying it's a, it is a major claim. And we need strong yeah. evidence. All right, okay. Uh, how do you answer this? When this is Jesus' own words. When Jesus said in Matthew chapter 18, verse 20, Jesus' is, Jesus words, Matthew mm -hmm. chapter 18, well, verse 20. In Isaiah. No, and, and I want you to, I want us to examine this one. Okay. Please give us light. Jesus said, for where two or three have gathered together in my name, mm -hmm. very important scripture. Where two or three have gathered in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Mm -hmm. So now we are a few people here. We have gathered in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, where two or three have gathered in my name, I am in the midst of them. Do you know he's, right. he's claiming being omnipresent? So what, what, how do you understand that? So place. if now, we are here... I'll explain why, through the Spirit, through the Holy Spirit. Because while he was on earth, he could only be at one You have to ask permission. We are doing. We don't need this one. Honestly, we don't need. We have we, we don't. We don't need that. What is it? What's the? No, we, you don't ask permission. They ask permission. This is why we. Uh, some. What was the verse? The verse is here. Look. I just want to look it up. He says, look. Matthew 8 verse 20, Jesus is saying, 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, not just anything, in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Jesus was speaking. So, if there are a group of so people in America who yeah. have gathered in the name of Jesus. If there are a group of people in China who have gathered in the name of Jesus, if a group of people in Canada gathered in the name of Jesus, wherever, does he, is he, does that notion, is it just a mere person or divine? They're saying that they have these teachings with him. Because you know the power of Lazarus. No, who is saying that? So, so you know Lazarus. No, I want us uh, to let's, let's, let's not jump. Go back and warn his family. You know, he says to Abraham, "Send me back so that I can warn my family. You know, not to end up in hell." But um, Abraham says to them that they have Moses and the and prophets. The prophet, with them. So Moses is with them because they have the the teachings of Moses with them. So likewise, they have the teaching of Jesus and the teachings. Yes, that's right. Wisdom. No, I that. think that's I, 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 I would understand. It, it doesn't say that. This is a this is a fly fly carpet. If you 
No, the, no the this one is a fly carpet. Take with the Bible. Listen to this. He says, for wherever two or three are gathered together in my name, the name of Jesus, Jesus said, I am there in the midst of them. Huh? What your, your response is a fly carpet response. This, this sun but that's not a polite thing to say to him. No, but it's a fly carpet. It's not a polite thing. So is Moses omnipresent? In, in some sense, like if you have the Torah, in, then Moses is, is this. Most, Moses is, so was, is um, the prophets as well. How were they omnipresent? How is Moses omnipresent? Because you, you have the Torah or you have the, the teachings or the message of Moses with you. So in that sense, just like, you know, in the parable of Lazarus, yeah, he wants to go back and okay. they, he's told that they have Moses in the prophets. So this doesn't actually say... That's not what... I, I want us to stay on the text. The, your response, stop looking at the Google. Let's let the, let the Bible let the you can't let, tell him what to do. let the Bible you speak. Uh, <laughs> not a church member. What you can't tell him what to do. You, no, you uh, have to you have to stay on the text yeah. because what you, you are saying. Stay on your text, but he could respond like, is it, by. Is it, uh, going he to wants to passage? rescue him. Sorry. Look, like uh, maybe you can do a better job than him. Uh, then what? What, uh, what he said, Jesus Listen, said. If you repeat something a hundred times, I'm not an imbecile enough. I heard you when I said it. Three and four times. So pray, what? What's, what's yes, your person? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? When it says when two are gathered in my name, I am in the midst. What do you mean? I'll show you. What do you think it means? Of course, he's a Lord. He's he's in the midst of us. That's what you think it means. Nobody's not disagreeing with your meaning. Yeah, but what the brother is the actually saying, in the same you. way, if and someone is looking at like preaching the Torah, Moses are with them. them. That's no, what he said. No, 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 you, the no, you want to negate his you know, understanding the, the in order to enforce yours. Yes, no, no, no. no, no, no you don't have a right to enforce your understanding. No, you're taking a context. Sorry? Moses is a man. Moses is a mere man. He was a man. No, he wasn't a man. He wasn't a man. No, he wasn't a man. He took he didn't die. It means he rose from, from the dead. Oh, Jesus, yeah, the flesh of Jesus died. The flesh of Jesus died. You know what? You're confused. No, the, the flesh of Jesus died. I told you the flesh of Jesus died. Sorry, sorry. You're right, you're right, you're right. You did die, you're right. Done. He wouldn't have said father. You see, just one second. No, no, you see, Papa preach. No, we have to put the scripture in the right context. That's how we get help. When we start playing. Not a dot, brother, not a dot, a tittle. You see, when we start playing. It means one like the son of man came by the cloud. Oh, sorry, 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 like a son of man, not the son of man. Like the son of man came in the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days. So there's no the in the Hebrew, by the way. Okay. It's just yeah. um, indefinite. You see, uh, uh, John, you see, you see my position is, is divinity because well, when what the, he's the, saying the, is, I saw the, one who appeared like a man, like the son like of man, human. son of Adam. Yeah. 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 I think, yeah. I think, yeah. I think, John, coming in the clouds of heaven. So when the Jews, Jews heard yeah. that, they knew immediately that this is blasphemy that's because blasphemy. he was claiming yes. to be. He's yes. not yes. coming right. in yes. the clouds of heaven, yeah. but he's being like lifted. So he's being raised, and that God is giving him power and dominion. That's not what the Bible authority. says. It, that's not what the scripture says. Daniel chapter seven. No, you see what I think, John. Daniel chapter no, seven. I think we no. I don't, John. John, John, John. I don't want us. I want us to examine what the text is saying because we 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 we've been shifting around. This is obviously a divinity over here. I want him to answer this one from this scripture. He said, "Where two or three have gathered in my name." <laughs> that's what the, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what the Bible is saying. So what I'm saying is, in this scripture, 16. do you think? Sorry, uh, Daniel chapter that's, seven, verse which one? Fourteen. Fourteen. We're going number fourteen. Do we have a record in the history where Moses was here and there and everywhere at the same Daniel time? Daniel was he anything like that? In the, the Bible, spirit. like everywhere, and the, the vision. Moses 13, no, 13? that's not. What Jesus said, 14, "Wherever two or three have gathered in my name." I am in the midst of them. Daniel 7. Uh, I mean, an another interpretation. Right in my vision, at right, right, right now, I Jesus is here. And spiritually, he's here. Was, was one like a son uh, of man. According of to man. the scripture, Coming he's here right now. With my the clouds of heaven. Uh, 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 God, okay, for a Unitarian may say, 
that God don't, don't, gave please, him please, the power. Let, the, let the scripture don't that don't bring internet Unitarian and those things. But it, we it are shooting for God. Say that what, God. What, what's the attributes of like Allah? Like how, what, what would you what would convince you that that some some someone is divine? What would convince all you? knowing? He does not beget Allah. Does not beget and he is not begotten. You are, Whereas, pre you are preaching Quran to you ask me a question. That's what you are saying. Okay. You don't want me to answer the question. Yeah, but yes. you said I am. No, no, just some, yeah. I am. But so did he ask the question? Am I allowed operated. to answer the question? Yeah. Okay. The okay. question is in Allah, what, what, in the cases of Allah, yeah. Allah is all knowing and Allah is Lam Yalid wa Lam Yulad. He does not beget and he is not begotten. And the question again is it is impossible. In, you, virtually impossible for Allah to take the form of a man and I'll tell you why I'll tell you why can a person take all the water all the water in the earth and fit it into a phone you, you're telling me that so he, he's talking, talking about Allah, Allah but limited. we are talking about Yahweh yeah. Yeah. who Maybe can do no, we can, no no you see come here you block you, know what is the you block the camera yeah. sorry sorry you see he's talking about Allah who cannot visit his creation? But we are talking about Yahweh. Listen to what Yahweh said in the reference of Jeremiah chapter. So if, if no, no, wait, still, wait, wait. But let me finish. I think and then you're going to read. No, no, no. I am, I am. Yeah, let me, let me tell you. Let me just finish one second. Uh, but I'm for two no, seconds. No, no, yeah, speak. Well, but stand here, stand here. Speak. Speak. Let me just get two seconds. Just speak. There's so many verses that show Jesus' divinity. That's why I'll ask them what they convince them. You know, because you can show all the names that I It's there, my friend. Yeah, but I'm waiting until you finish. No, I'll let you speak. No problem. Can, but yeah. what I'm saying is, let's 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 focus on the text. Yeah. We are but giving different. Different. Yeah, but everybody here is not a Christian. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. Yes, that's what you. What saying. I'm saying is so the text. Saying, what the text is saying. Yes. Can we? That's if everybody is a Christian. No. Everyone here is not a Christian. When we read text, we have to be fair to each other. Right. And did, let's, you didn't read the text before. No. But uh, you, did you read the text before? Three times. What I'm saying is, we, we, we read the text. Your question. We have to. And the question is, digest. if I have a, if I have a, an instrument made out of steel, and I said this steel cannot bend. I'm not talking about the weakness of the steel by saying it cannot bend. I'm talking about the strength of the steel. So if I say this steel pen cannot bend, I'm actually describing the strength. So when I say it does not befit God or Allah to take the form of a man or take the form of a pig or take the form of creation, I'm actually describing his greatness. His greatness cannot be reduced to a human form. Hence the reason why Moses when he asked to see God, he was told that he is not able to see God in this state. We cannot see God in That's this world. No, cannot. But you, you Therefore, know, if you cannot on. see him, if you cannot see him in flesh, yeah. then he John, cannot be we, in flesh. We, we're shifting. I know you're shifting. No, no, I think we, we, we're shifting. You, the you, topic you, we are you, discussing you. about, yeah. let's those who are just arrived, the very important topic we are discussing about, we are discussing about the deity of Jesus. Yeah. I want us to stay within that circle. Yes, sir. We quote the scriptures. I know as a Muslim, yes. yeah, you might not disagree with it. That's fine. But me, that means... Sorry, only, only yeah. You see, you we, we, as a Muslim, I understand your position that maybe you might have trouble with the text, but it does not deny what this message and is saying. Look, brother, I'm coming. doesn't have a problem with the text. You see, you see what Jesus said in the Matthew. Uh, what I said is in the John, uh, Matthew chapter 18. Jesus said, verse 20 he says. For where two or three have gathered in my name, very important statement. Yeah, together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Right. That's what the scripture is saying. So, do you agree that this scripture has said? Why does there have to be two or three? Why Well, I mean, two, three larger congregation. What can, if so, are you saying if it's just one person, then Jesus isn't there? Oh, no. As, because then I, it means that he's no, that's not, not omnipresent. Are, that's not what we are saying. So for him to be omnipresent, yeah. he, he also includes if there's even just one yeah. person. When, we, when you're having a relationship with Christ, you mm -hmm. see, the Christian position is this. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, first of all, when we acknowledge him as Lord, and we accepted the work that he did in our behalf on the cross. The first step is this, we invite him to be part of our journey by giving him the right place in our heart. Why is why heart? When Jesus comes in your heart, it becomes part of you in your journey. So already he's with you. 
But then the scripture goes, where two or three have gathered in my name. Key word, Can in my name, I am in the midst no. of them. If I say, John, did you catch I am it? with Jesus. No, I, I am saying this. I'm not saying it. Let me, let me make this clear. I am with Jesus. Okay? And I'm with Abraham. And Abraham is with me. I am with Moses. Peace be upon all them all. And Moses is with me. Because if I speak the truth of which Moses and Abraham, Noah, Jesus and Muhammad was upon, if I speak their truth, they are with me and I am with them. Now, my question to you is, I am not saying that they are God and they are omnipresent. I'm simply saying that if I speak the same truth that they brought, they are with me and I am with them. Okay, so Moses, Moses like never it's said, like you see, you see his, his argument, uh, let, let me show you no, something. I could say the same thing that he John, is saying, okay, but right. have a different meaning. Okay, let I'm me, saying the same thing. Okay, that's like this right. brother here, if he has a view, a particular view, and I take his phone with his view, he goes there to pray, and I make that statement that he was about to make. Come he back, is with come, me, come here, and I am with him. Sorry. Don't cover the camera. Sorry, sorry. You see, let, let's, so, let the scripture speak. So brother Nando we are here can to, make a statement, no, 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 he go to pray, and I make a statement I, for him. I, but Brother Nazo is with me brother, and I'm with him. Brother, no, no, it's like this. If it's, I go to, it's like, say for instance, I go to the telephone box. I pick up the directory inquiries. I see your stand name there. in there. I, I think you blocked no, because no, you, I want to stand close to you. <laughs> Lucy? Right, brother, brother, brother. I see you. I see I this stand close to you. Hey, brother, brother, I see this the guy's name in there. Sorry? I see this guy's name in there. Right? 75 times. Where? In the telephone box. Right? Okay. But I say to him, this is his name. No, it's not my name, he says. Well, your name's in there. It's not my name. My name's in there. Right? It might even have, have the initials of it in there. The full name. But it's not the, it's not the real him. Many people believe in Jesus. Yes. But it's what their perception are they, are they, they, how they perceive Jesus. Like the telephone box. He might... He might have his name in there 150 times. But if it doesn't coincide with his address, it's not the real Jesus. That's a good point. So you can talk about Jesus you that you don't know. You can talk about Jesus you don't know. You see, you can talk about Jesus that you don't know. Let me ask you a question. Yes, yes, yes. If Jesus was here right now, yes. and I ask Jesus one question, yes, sure. Yes, sure. you tell me what that answer is. And I say to Jesus, Jesus, do you know when the day of judgment is? What do you think Jesus is going to answer me? I'll tell you what you're going to say. I think you're going to say. No, 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 the hour. Do you know he the hour when them. the no, of judgment no, is? No. What is Jesus going to answer? Okay. And you know Jesus. Know you. Know you. Just a minute. We you know, know Jesus. Say. You know I know Jesus. what he's going to say. What, what is say. Jesus going to say? I'll tell you he's going to say. What is he going to say? Because he's taking in his humanity. No, I'm because asking you a question. He's talking what is Jesus going to say? He said only my father knows. That's what he's going to say. The time of the hour. Wait, wait, wait. Then he has to ask him. Slow down. Slow down. Well, then he has to ask him. Then I'll say to God. Then I'll say to Jesus, you're not God. Right. No, just a minute. But he is God. What is Jesus going to say? If Jesus was present and we were to ask him, Jesus, do you know the hour? Do you we know when the day judgment? We change the topic. Yeah, change the topic. What is he going to say? We change the topic. You know, yeah, yeah. The whole thing is a misunderstanding because you believe that we're saying that Jesus is the Father. No, I'm asking He's a question. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm asking a question. What are you trying to say? I don't want to say, brother. No. Yeah. Is your right for saying? Because no. what he wants to say? I know what he wants to say. No, but I'm asking you, what are you going to say? What I want to say, I said it already. I've already said what I want to say. What are you going to say? I told you what he's going to say. No, no, you already told me. You have to be quiet now. No. Yes, I want you to answer. Je I don't want you answering for him. Hold on, hold on. You're not his wife. So you cannot answer, answer for him. Go on. Yeah. So Jesus is going to say that he doesn't know the hour. Well right? said. But let me yes. finish the yes. whole thing. Right, go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah. But Jesus is one with the Father. The Father knows everything. Yes. I am in one with the Father as well. Yeah. Are you, are you, I am in are you one with the Father? Yes. I am. Yeah. Yes. You uh, and me and you. I am in one with the Father. And me and you. You have dual citizenship. You have dual citizenship. Listen, to, listen, listen, to, listen to this one. one you know. Uh, this man, uh, listen to what he's saying. Listen, I am in one with the Father. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> this is a flesh and blood. What, what is, Peter said. Bro, this is Peter, Peter, Peter said. Bro. What you have received is not fresh and blood. Bro. But my father who is in heaven. Who this is not fresh and blood, this is calories and am? chocolate. It's a revelation. You need a revelation to bring you need a revelation to bring you out the dark. 
I, I get that part. I get that part. You need a right revelation. Now, speakers go, this man is a flesh and blood. Chocolate. Look, uh, jerk chicken and uh, uh, jerk chicken. Halal food. Halal food. Halal food. Do you know in the Quran it says that the Christian God is one? Christian God. Yeah, the Christian God is one. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. see, the God, the God of the Bible, when we talk about one, there's something called uh, as a as a great nation, one nation. You see, when we, the God of the Bible, when you use the term one, you see you and your wife. One, when you say one nation, you see, Great Britain as one nation. Does it mean it's just one? There are countless of people within the nation, but we say one nation. You understand? The term one in the Hebrew space is called archive. You understand? Compound unit. If I bring a nice car and say, this is my nice right. one car, no, but it has a different Jesus component. Mm. Oh. So, so when we, in the absence of Jesus, yeah. in the absence of Jesus, you and I, and so the entire world, no, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. In the absence of Jesus, we will never know who the true God is. No. You will never know. Jesus so in, the, said, in the time of Moses, in the time of Moses, and in the time of Abraham, Moses was just Moses was just a messenger who received a message and delivered. Jews, that was his job. That, if true. the Jews hear you saying that, they won't take that. But do you know? When you go home, I want I, I, I want to bring this to everybody's attention with due respect. If you go home today, check one Israel, one Israel. So I've got it here. Yeah, and one is uh, one Israel. If you go to that. Yeah. Israel, yeah, one of Israel. Jews, Jews are coming home. Yeah. They this have guy, not read guy, the source and realized Jesus the is the Messiah. They have given up Judaism and coming home. This guy, no, no, this no, guy here, he goes to the Wailing Wall. Who? Yeah, that's right. Oh. I've seen him. And so, and so be it. Has, led, has got a trophy list this, name from here to here that's Ivan the Wallace in Wales. No one debate with Jacob Prash. Yeah, it wasn't born yet. Yeah, but no one debate with Jacob Prash. But Jacob Prash. Based on your ideology, he's standing here for forever. He's here, he's standing here forever. He's going to die and he's going to die. You see, what we are calling you to, we are calling you to the true Jesus, not the Jesus you don't know. No, no, you can mention a Jesus that you don't know. You understand? But the true Jesus, the telephone, is it the telephone box? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can have him times. Did he hear that? Uh, a telephone box Jesus that he don't know. Times. But we are I calling swear. the truth to the Jesus of Nazareth, the one who died and rose look, from the dead. If it doesn't so coincide, look, look, listen, and he is the to one me. that will hold listen, your hand listen, and take you to the Father. If it doesn't coincide with his address, yeah. it's not the real one. Okay. If it doesn't coincide with Jesus Nazareth rose from the dead, according to the scriptures on the third day, it's not the real Jesus. You see, listen to this scripture. They didn't answer. Listen to this. According to Luke chapter twenty-four. Four. Yeah, listen to the words of Jesus. When Jesus died, this is a uh, transition. After he died and rose from the death, listen to what he said to his disciples. Verse 44 to 46. He says, That's not what he said. We were having a conversation. You put a camera without even asking us. He, eh? Yeah, but what I'm saying is, no, 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 we, we ask him first. Listen to this. We ask him that we want, no. Listen, you are, you, are not, you, are not, you, are, you are not listening. You are not listening to me. We ask him, we want to discuss a very important topic. And we want to incorporate him. And he said, fine. So we, we seek for his consent. We didn't just drive him. So he even came, you know, you remember I asked you, and he said, Oh, not today. Yeah, yes, time. Ask him. Yeah. He's my witness. Yeah. So we don't just do things by dragging people in. We are not that. We don't do that. No, you see, don't do that. No, this is pastor. Maybe you, pastor. It's not, it's not that. It's no, a, this is the pastor. Is he, is he, and when you're in speaker's corner, you have to ask the pastor a question. No, it's not that. Listen to what you say. <laughs> you have to ask the pastor. But, you see, it's changing the topic. It's changing the, what we are saying. Let's have one conversation. Come on. Let, let we have, it's better to have one conversation. But just to let you all know, this is the pastor. No, but we. we We've changed the topic. The topic we are discussing yeah, is the deity of Jesus. Is that not what we stress on? Nas, can we be part of your conversation? I think it's separated. The, uh,
so there's no there's a killing of the infants in Mackie's country, well, yeah. which is why they escape or flee to Egypt. Okay. Um, and then they stay there until Harold dies, and then they return back to Bethlehem. Yeah. But in Luke, there's no killing of infants. There's a mention of the young. The reason why they're in Bethlehem is because of the census. Yeah. They have to register, you know, to pay tax or for the census. Yeah. Um, and then Jesus is born, and then they return back to Nazareth. Yeah. But there's no escape or flee to Egypt. Okay. Just like they do in Matthew. It doesn't, because of, it doesn't mean there's a contradiction though. It's just yeah. mentioning different things. You know? so if it, would you if one said there's a there's a census and the other one said there was no census, that would be the contradiction. It doesn't change the message. It doesn't change anything. Period, Nas. They're supposed to be in Egypt. No, Nas, it doesn't change. You see, it, it doesn't change anything. What Nas is saying, it, uh, it doesn't change. I think we, we I think I think we've stripped and uh, now as we are talking honestly I don't know what we are talking about. I wanted us to stay on the deity of Jesus with a clear ref, uh, reference of the scripture. Whether you believe it or not, Jesus doesn't lose his position as who he is. You understand? Jesus is the the scripture for instance. The the opponent of Jesus understand what he was saying you might not understand and the fact that you don't understand trinity it doesn't change anything that is your your problem you you understand because you see there are many things in our world that we don't have full details of it it doesn't mean uh, even if i look at you your your your, your personal brain you don't know how your brain does things in your head so the fact that you don't understand how your your own brain works it doesn't mean it doesn't work like it does. So there are things which are mysteries in this world. And scripture clearly talk about this. Look, clear, is Trinity look, a mystery? No, I'll show is you Trinity. Trinity a mystery? Trinity is all over in the scripture. We, no, we, we've dealt with it. Is it a mystery? No, you as a man. I'm asking I, a no, question. You as a man. Let, let me show you clear Trinity as to him in the Bible. Then you will know. Look, look. Revelation is free the Bible. No, no, no. We have one conversation. John. Lord is in lowercase. John, are you, are you guys want to start a new conversation? Then we can, they can uh, close it. Uh, yeah. Moses he speaks to God face to face, right? In one example. And yeah. later down in the chapter, he says, God says, no one can see my face and live. No. First, first, I think maybe this, this, it's the not one the same God I'm talking sure he's talking to. One can so speak to face to face. He comes be. down from the mountain, his face is shining. Way. The other one is like, no. I'll put you but in the we, cliff we've and we'll walk past the face of the John, John, I think you, you, you shifted our very, you know... You want to talk about Trinity a little bit? No, that, that is fine, but I think we can <laughs> yeah. talk about that. But you we, know we, we, we wanted the people to be here yeah. about the position of the deity of Jesus. Because the, the reason why this topic was so important to us, Your light is because on. your battery is going to go down. The reason why this is important uh, to us is the Muslim, the Muslim position have always tell us yeah, that Jesus yeah, is just a mere man. man. Jesus is just Someone a prophet. Yeah, only in John. And he doesn't John, know who it was. See, yeah. It's not only in John. It's, it, it's not only in John. Only in John. Everything in John. All right, let me show you in Luke. I know, I know. There is some. No, I'm showing you. No, no, no. You said only in John. Let's look at Luke. John, this but there's many times where the problem things that where Jesus protects people. In John. John. Jesus is God everywhere. Even in Isaiah, he was God. Which God? Listen to this. Listen to this. Sorry? Listen to this. Let's, let according Let's, let's give them. No, let's give them this. Then we will finish. I know, I know, no. Was that written mentioned? Let, let's look at look. Let me show you something in look. Wait, is it the same? No, no, no listen, listen to what is in look. Please. Oh, the first one that before Abraham was. Speakers corner. 
Bruce, uh, <laughs> what they're saying over there is, is, is brilliant because that shows the, the, the authenticity that, that they weren't copied from each other. Like the Gospels when Jesus spoke about God, they were like different accounts, genuine my, my, my position is, that is a very good thing you are doing, but we are dealing with two, three topics. You understand? So if we want to talk about then this guy will know that we've talked about different but now the day we ask a class Luke, Luke chapter 24 listen Luke chapter 24 verse 44 to 46 please listen to this carefully then he said to them does anyone have light? They don't contradict. You might say, okay, one gospel doesn't say this, but it omits that information. But one doesn't say just because you one doesn't say please listen to this. John turn water into wine, the other one says it turned into something else. John, I think we're reading from Luke, brother. John, I think we have turned to uh reading from Luke, please, gentlemen. Uh order in the house. We are reading from Luke. Okay, order in the house. Order in the house, please. Pastor John is reading no, from no, John. Listen, uh, Luke, Luke. Luke. Are you sure this is Luke? Yeah? Listen to this. Is this Luke? Listen to this. Look, please listen. Listen to this. Listen to this. Come. He says, Then he said to them, These are the words which I spoke with you whilst I was with you, that all things must be fulfilled. All things must be fulfilled. Written in the law of Moses and the prophets. And Psalms. This is what the Muslim says. Concerning Torah, me. Concerning me. Right. Then he went further. I said, and he opened. Not he did went further. It stopped. Red stopped. Okay, he no. did not go the further. The conversation no. goes on. Wait. No, it doesn't. Let me finish. Let me finish. No, and he did not go no, further. Let me finish. This is not okay, Jesus. Let, let, let me finish. Let me finish. finish. Then he said, he opened their understanding that they may might comprehend the scripture. Yeah, but so, but wait, wait. I'll show you. It's here. It's here. Then he said to them. This is written, and this was necessary for Christ to suffer and rose from the dead on the third day. Verse 47, he says, and that the repentance and the remission of sin should be preached in his name. Do you understand that? I understand in his that. name. That's a date in his name, divine name of God. Where is he claiming like he is like? Yeah, that is it. In his name. You see, it's, it's still not, no. not the same like Jude. No. That's it. In John.